Kai, that's 2019. I'm Lucas Leici, that's the World Championship of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And we are ready to coach the guys from Czech Match, my students, my friends. Let's do it. So the transition for being a competitor to being a coach was something that uh, I actually I always was a coach when I was competing. My main focus was competing. I was not calling myself a coach back then. I can call, maybe call myself a professor. Like I was like going to the academy, do my class, teach, roll for the students, and that's it. I go back. I come into coach, yes, when they want to compete, but I was not a guy then I am right now about organize their camp, tell everybody to compete, and make sure I'm all the mats when all my students are competing, help them with their nutrition or their strength condition training. I was more like, uh, you know, everyday academy, then you have a, like, okay, I'm gonna do my martial arts. I was there, I was coaching, you know, teaching. I, 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 I use all that to, to learn how to teach and coach. When I start, stop to competing, I started having my injuries in 2015. I think that was when I hurt my back, did MRIs to my back, and try to get out because I was having a lot of trouble to teaching, to walk. It was uncomfortable, you know. And I also doing the MRIs from my lower back and hip. I find out I have a big injury on my labor on the hip. So my hip was in very bad shape. And, and, and some of the doctors and physiotherapy believe if I fix my hip, it would be much better for my lower back. And, and, and that's what I did. The hip was much harder than all the surgeries that they needed and I did because I was having a hard time to walk. I was concerned about if I will gonna, if I gonna come back to train or not, even after the surgery. But I think after that, I kind of start to pace myself and, and focus more and my students focus more and try building a competition team, bring some guys from Brazil or even from, from East Coast, for America, or guys, any guy then wanna, you know, help to, to train Jiu-Jitsu for full time. When I say help, it's because it's very hard to give up everything and train Jiu-Jitsu for full time as a lower back, a lower belt, because you don't have any income coming to that. So you have to have someone to help you. So I, I started doing that more, and I, I, I feel like when I, now that I'm not competing anymore on the world, on the adult level, I will, I, I can help my team much better. My academy, not just my team, but my academy, my business in the academy, and seminars and all that. And plus the, the team, the check match, the co competition team, have some guys in my house or getting some, some apartment or some place to they stay for six months, one year. Like the Luna brothers, they stay like one year with me. Now they like, they do their own thing. Basically they both got married, they both have work, you know, and, and competing. They don't depend on me anymore. So they, I remember they used to live in Brazil, then they went to Temecula with my friends, so then they come into me and they wanna, you know, be close to the Long Beach, close to the, the main train of Czech Mat, so they start to live with me for one year and it was a good was a good thing. Uh, but little by little I felt like that transition was very important for me and and, and so I'm gonna keep concentrating on that. For